now that you've added some machines to your system, I want to show you how to organize and set up the companies uh, so that you can easily uh, find uh, the agents that you're looking for. So in Kaseya, that's done on the System tab, and you go down to Orgs, Groups, Departments, and Staff, and you select the Manage button. And you're going to notice that there's two companies there by default. It's going to be uh, a company ID My Org, which is going to have your company name, and there's another one called Unnamed. Those are both default companies that come with the system. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to, for each one of your clients, you're going to create a new organization. All right, and it's very simple. You just click on the new button at the top. It'll bring up a window, and in that window, you're going to put in the ID. Now, the ID should be basically a very short name. This is what you're going to see at the, at the top of the screen in your views. So let's say we have a company called ABC Company. I'm just going to put ABC here. I don't want to spell out the whole name because it just makes it too big. On the next line, I'm going to go and put the full name of the company there. Okay? And then um, org type is really just um, a default. You can just leave it empty. It's not a required field. Now, there's a default department name and a default machine groom name. I like to change this. I don't like the word root. You can change this to anything you want. Um, uh, sometimes I like using uh, HQ to, you know, basically it's the main office um, or, you know, maybe just the word main so that you know it's the main location. Everything else that you see here is just there for your own use. Uh, you can fill out uh, contact information and address information, email, but none of it is required in order to set it up. So just click on save and what you're going to see is we now have a new organization called ABC. Now what if ABC uh, company has multiple branch offices. So let's say they have an office, say, uh, here in Maryland, where I am. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to this tab called Machine Groups, and you're going to create a sublocation for ABC. So literally, again, it's very easy. You're just going to click on the New button, and you're going to give it a new name. So th we're going to call this one uh, MD for Maryland, and then just hit the Save button. And it's going to go ahead and create another organization, but an, um, or another machine group, basically. But it's underneath the ABC organization. Now, having the having your machine separated into kind of logical locations or physical locations will make it very easy for you to um, kind of segment where the problems are. So, if a, if a if a customer calls up and says they can't get out on the internet and they have multiple locations, you can kind of zero in on the location, look at all the other machines that are there, and then determine is it a problem with the internet or is it just a problem with that one user? Because if it's the internet, everybody's going to be down. If it's just that one user, you'll see that the other users are okay, but that user is down. So you can basically create as many um, locations as you like. And these don't have to be a state. This could be a building. It could be a floor. Um, you could divide them in any way that's a logical way to do it. Now, you don't normally need to set this up. I see sometimes people try to create a group for servers and a group for workstations. You don't need to do that. Um, you can control the view of workstations and servers in your views. The only reason to do this would be if you, to, to create something like that would be if you needed to uh, restrict access to a certain group of people to lock them into just seeing um, the the server group or the or the workstation group and that's in something called scopes that we'll talk about um, in the next section so um, there's also group there's some other stuff here for different departments staff and custom fields at this point you really don't need to worry about that there's there's um, it's it's not being used in any of the modules I've seen it's really designed for stuff um, like service desk and some other modules that Kaseya has but I don't think you need to worry about it right now so focus on creating an organization for each one of your customers, keeping the ID for the organization short and sweet, um, and then create additional machine groups where necessary to help segment out your machines.